Let's look at a few more examples of recursive sequences. So remember, recursive means the terms of my sequence depend on the terms that come before. So as an example, start with a0 equals 1, a sub n equals 1 plus a sub n minus 1 squared. So I would start with 1. I'm going to take 1, square it, and add 1, gives me a 2. Put 2 in there, take 2 and square it, add 1, gives me a 5. Put 5 in there, 5 squared, add 1, gives me 26, and so on. And then we note this thing just keeps growing bigger and bigger as we keep moving out. Okay, for another example, so this is a little generalization of the Fibonacci sequence. So here, instead of defining our sequence in terms of the two that come before it, we're defined in terms of the sum of the three that come before it. So if a0 equals a1 equals a2 equals 1, and then an is just sum up the previous three terms. So we have 1, 1, 1 for a0 through a2. Then a3 I get by adding these together, which gives me 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. A4 I get by adding 1 plus 1 plus 3 together, which is 5. A5 is going to be given by adding 1 plus 3 plus 5, which is 9, and so on. And again, we'll see that these numbers, as we go out, are just going to grow without bound. So let's look at the problem in a different way. What I want to do here is I want to stick with my same recursive relation. I just want to push the initial conditions around. So what I have is what we call the logistic sequence. It's going to come up in population modeling. So our re recursive relation is going to be to get my next term in the sequence. I take the term before it, then I'm going to multiply it by 1 minus the term before it, and then multiply it by 2 for the example that I'm looking at. Okay, and this will be interesting when the numbers that we're looking at, we're starting with, are between 0 and 1. Okay, so why don't we start with a half and see what happens. So if I put a half into here, it's 2 times a half times 1 minus a half. So it's going to be 2 times a half, which is 1 times a half. So a half goes in, half comes out. All right, well, we're going to put a half back in. So half goes in, half comes out. And you notice, if I start with a half, all we can do is keep producing a half until the end of time. Okay, now, not an accident. If I take a look at my recursive relation and squint, and let's say we just call the A terms, regardless of whether they have an N or N minus 1 L, that's going to give me the equation L equals 2 times L minus L squared. And then if I solve for that, the zeros are going to be 0 and 1 half. Okay, magically 1 half is doing something there. Okay, if you notice, if I put zero in here, same thing. I start with zero, and then I just wind up producing a big string of zeros. All right, so I'll leave it to you to see what happens when you put a one in. Now, let's try some other points between zero and one. So I'm going to go with three quarters. So we put three quarters in, 0.75, and then you break out the calculator and just churn out a few terms. So the next term is going to be 0.375, next term's 0.46875, next term is 0.498. And as you keep going and going and going, you're going to see that you're going to get closer and closer to a half without ever actually getting there. So the picture of this, if I put everything on, say, the x-axis, well, that's going to be starting at 0.75. You're going to jump to 0.375, and then it just starts inching its way up to a half. So that's the picture. All right, let's try another point. Let's go with on the other side of a half, one quarter. Same idea. I start with 0.25. You put this in your calculator and start churning numbers. Magically, 0.375 comes out, like here. And so this is going to finish up the same exact way that this one did. OK, you'll get your 0.46875 in the next term, 0.498 in the next one, and then this thing just marches its way up to a half. So the picture here, we're just going to be on this side, and then it's just slowly marching up to a half without ever actually getting there. So that's the logistic sequence. And this is foreshadowing much bigger piece of mathematics that we're not going to do in calculus.